uh, and this, and with that statements the DK Shiv Kumar is going to be confronted with. Right. So they have been able to basically find out certain hawala deals and certain benami transactions that happened in the past uh, when DK Shiv Kumar occupied public office and that is why uh, you, right. know, you see Sorry that to interrupt you there I'll come back to you but S. Prakash of the BJP is with us on this broadcast so thank you so much for speaking with us. How do you respond to the allegations made by DK Shiv Kumar and the Congress party about the timing of this summon that has been issued to him? No, I don't understand their uh, groups. The, uh, their Bharat Joda Yatra is on 30th. She has been called today and he will appear before the ED today or tomorrow also and come back to Bangalore. What stops him from preparing for Bharat Joda Yatra? Why drag that issue with the ED summoning? I, I, have, I have failed to understand about it. Let him face the questionnaire and the investigation carried out by the agency. Let him come out clean. We welcome it. Let him not... This is just vendetta and harassment, says DK Shivkumar, Mr. S. Prakash. He says the case is as old as four years, if not more. There's very little that has no, been found by the enforcement directorate. But all you do is harass me by summoning me each and every time. Econ economic, economic offenses take a uh, pretty long time in India for complete investigation and take it to the logical end. Even they are aware of it. They were in power for more than 60 years in the country. And uh, he was also in jail for uh, several months on serious charges. Now it is being investigated. There is the question of vendetta. He, has, uh, he is now charged under money laundering and DA cases. Let him come out clean. Let him produce the evidences to justify that he is clean. clean. Now it's not just about the Bharat Jodo Yatra, Mr. S. Prakash. It's also the fact that uh, elections are just around the corner in the state. No, that he should have uh, considered about it before the indulging in corrupt practices. Once you are caught, you will be called repeatedly and you have to face the investigation authorities. And in the past also, several people have been called for the interrogation and investigation. They have faced it. In the, the, uh, Shiv Kumar is no exception. Just because there is an election is around the corner in Karnataka, does it mean he, he should not be summoned by the ED or income tax and uh, for the clarification? It is very strange logic. Right, Mr. S. Prakash, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. The political war of words only escalating even as DK Shiv Kumar, top Congress leader, the party's state unit chief in Karnataka, faces the enforcement directorate as we speak. Former Chief Minister of Karnataka, H.D. Kumar Swami, has also reacted to this entire scandal. Listen in. DK Shiv Kumar already, he only expressed that he has strength to swallow all those things he told me he has not done anything wrong then if he has not done anything wrong they have issue a notice for that i think he has the capability to answer it everything if you're not guilty then why evade the law why not just face the agencies and come clean that's what the bjp says that's what even the jds now says against his political opponent Given that elections are just around the corner in Karnataka, the summons, the questioning of DK Shiv Kumar has definitely taken a political turn. But Ashish, my colleague, joins us and continues to be with us, in fact, to put in perspective the investigation aspect of this entire case. And like we've been discussing, Ashish, today we are expecting a marathon questioning session of DK Shiv Kumar. His statement is going to be recorded and that is going to be a crucial part of evidence in this case. So certainly, you know, that is what the process of PMLA investigation is. That ED, if you remember, they, when they were investigating the first case, when the income tax department filed a charge sheet and based on that prosecution complaint, suggesting that there is unaccounted wealth to the tune of around 300 crore rupees and they found DK Shukumar to be involved into that. There was substantial cash also that was found during the searches. This happened at a time when Rajya Sabha elections were happening and uh, basically he was, uh, uh, you know, hiding certain uh, MLAs inside the, uh, inside uh, some lawmakers inside a resort. At that point in time when uh, the income tax department did a search operation, they found substantial cash, various locations were raided at that point in time and based on that prosecution complaint, the income tax department uh, 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 of the income tax department, the enforcement directorate decided to pursue a case 
and filed an ECIR. Right. And when they investigated, they again found certain evidence to show. Right, that which is why the enforcement director believes that there is uh, a watertight case against VK Shivkumar. Uh, sorry to interrupt you there once again, but uh, Congress' Shankara Gua now joins us on this broadcast. So thank you so much for speaking with us. The Congress claims that this is nothing but harassment. Why do you say so, sir? If you're innocent, just face the law. He is facing the law. I'm with him right now. He is inside the office. He is an extremely law-abiding citizen. And whatever uh, they have asked, he has taken all the documents and I am sure he will uh, be able to answer them. But do you think uh, the timing is really suspect because not just uh, DK Shivkumar but others in the Congress have also come out and linked it not just to the Bharat Jodo Yatra that is ongoing but also to the upcoming Karnataka elections? That is there for everyone to see. Let people decide. Uh, I am not going to comment on that. We are going to comment on that. It is there for people to see, they will decide. Now, Mr. Guha, this case that uh, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar faces is uh, an old one. It at least dates uh, back to four or five years ago since the investigation has been on. So, for the Congress to question the timing really, uh, how valid that is that argument? Because the case and the investigation has been going on for five years now. See, the answer lies in your question. You said you are saying it's a four or five year old case. And uh, one particular case has been charged in the court. So uh, it is like uh, you are reading from 1 to 100 again. Again, you want us to read from 100 to 1. It's, uh, it's up to them. Uh, we are going to face it. He was going to face whatever it is. Uh, and he's, as I said, he is a law-abiding citizen. He will face them and he will come out clean. There is nothing here to hide and to get scared of. They can do whatever they want to. I wish them luck. Right, Shankara Gua, thank you so much for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. My colleague Ashish Mehrshi continues to be with us as we get to the details of the investigation. Even as DK Shiv Kumar, uh, Congress's Karnataka State Unit Chief, a top leader of the party and someone who is believed to be close to the Gandhi Parivar faces enforcement directed sleuths. And like the Congress has been claiming, the timing is extremely suspect. Ashish, they say that the case has been going on for four to five years and yet you call him for questioning just when there are other political big events happening just because you're rattled. The agency is being accused of acting at the behest of the BJP. So that's absolutely untrue because there are two cases. The FIR that was filed uh, of disproportionate asset case with the Central Bureau of Investigation, that was filed in the year two 2020, so it's almost a two-year-old case, so it's not a four- or five-year-old case. The 2017 case is an income tax case, whereas 2020 case is basically a CBI case. And based on that CBI case that he has been, he has been summoned, so the, the CBI and the enforcement director are simultaneously investigating this case. This is a disproportionate asset case. This has got nothing to do with tax evasion or case that was filed by the income tax department. And based on that, the ED was investigating. So it's absolutely untrue that, uh, you know, this, this case is basically four to five years old. Right, do stay on with me because uh, even as the questioning happens here in the national capital, the political war of words is escalating there in Karnataka.